Here we are again in our epithelial tissues. Remember, epithelial tissues are going to protect our body from the outside world. Not only do epithelial tissues protect our body from the outside world, but they also line our internal spaces. And if you remember, we call our internal spaces a lumen. So in our last video, we looked at simple squamous epithelium, which we see in these two boxes here. Today, we are going to take a look at simple cuboidal epithelium, which we see in this box here. So let's take a closer look. In our last video, when we looked at simple squamous epithelium, we started in the kidney, which contained both simple squamous and simple cuboidal epithelium. Remember, our simple squamous epithelium was going to be found surrounding our glomerular capsule, or creating our glomerular capsule, in these areas of our slide. And so we're not going to look at that today, but we are going to look at everything else. Everything else we see in this slide is going to make up other kidney tubules, not just the glomerular capsule, but other parts of our nephron. And as you can see, these tubules are going to line all the other internal spaces within our nephron. So let's take a look at our name, simple cuboidal epithelium. What does it mean if we're looking at a simple epithelium? Remember, a simple epithelium is only one layer of cells, whereas a stratified epithelium contains multiple layers of cells. So if we take a look at our picture here, we can see our simple cuboidal epithelium has only one layer of cells surrounding a given lumen. What does the word cuboidal mean? When you think cuboidal, you should think cube-shaped. Here, we're looking at a two-dimensional picture, so when we look at our cube, that means we actually see a square cell. This square cell is going to have a beautifully, perfectly round nucleus right in the middle of that cell. So cuboidal just means that your cells are cube-shaped. And finally, what does epithelium mean? It means that you are lining your internal surfaces of your body and protecting yourself from the outside world. In the case of our kidney here, our internal body cavity is that nephron that we've been talking about. Now let's take a closer look at our simple cuboidal epithelium now that we understand the name. Here we see the same picture and in our description of cells, we can say that we have single layer lines of square shaped cells. Our nucleus is going to be beautiful and round and right in the middle of the cell. Where in our body do we find simple cuboidal epithelium? Well, right now, we are looking at pictures of kidney tubules in our nephron, but we also find simple cuboidal epithelium in our liver, in parts of our thyroid, and also making up ducts of glands, such as your salivary glands or your mammary glands. And finally, we also see simple cuboidal epithelium lining our bronchioles, which are part of our lungs. 
what do our simple cuboidal epithelia do in these locations? Primarily, our simple cuboidal epithelia are going to be in charge of processes called secretion and absorption. Let me give you an example of what I mean. In our kidney tubules with our simple squamous epithelium, we filtered our blood in that glomerular capsule, creating something called filtrate. That filtrate is going to move on in the nephron to some simple cuboidal areas of the nephron. And there, our simple cuboidal epithelium are going to reabsorb, so absorption, all of the good materials from that filtrate like glucose and amino acids and all of our good ions like sodium and calcium and then we're going to secrete those materials back into our blood so our kidneys are doing absorption and secretion we're doing the same thing in our liver where our liver is filtering our blood and our simple cuboidal epithelium in our liver is going to secrete good things into our blood like nutrients that our body needs to use as energy and it's also going to absorb some macromolecules out of our blood for processing and then it's going to filter all of the toxins out of our blood so we have got multiple examples of secretion and absorption as one of our functions. So this slide is a little bit messy. Let's look at a neater slide than what we have here. All right, in this slide, we can see a little bit more clearly our very round nuclei. And I'm going to point out to you some of our square-shaped cells. So sometimes it's not completely easy to see, but here is our lumen, that's our white space. And surrounding our lumen, we have one layer of cells. And then we can just pretend that there are dividing lines between these cells. And we've got some square cells with nice round nuclei right in the middle. This is a great picture to look at, but let's take a look at some more. How beautiful is this slide? So again, we have a nice lumen, our empty space. Okay, we're always going to see that with epithelial tissues, some sort of white space. And then we have our simple cuboidal epithelium in one layer going around that lumen. And in this slide, we don't have to make up the lines that divide our cells. We can actually see some of those lines. Here, in between our beautiful round nuclei. And just as one more example, so you can see it really depends on the slide that you get what you're going to be looking at. But we still have that round lumen, one layer of cells, and beautiful round nuclei right in the middle of our square-shaped cell. So hopefully that helps you distinguish simple cuboidal epithelium. As always, if you have any question about any of this material, please do not hesitate to contact your instructor.